Let's try to understand automated rules in device management. In the admin center, go to devices, mobiles and endpoints and click on rules. Rules can either be created from a template or from the scratch. There are three templates which are available. Click on add rule, rule from template and you can see the three templates which are available, which include block account on multiple failed screen unlocks, auto approved device registration or perform a wipe on suspicious event. You can select any of the template while the name and description is automatically filled, scope is something that you need to define based on your organization requirement, whether to apply it for the entire organization or to specific OUs or groups. The triggers and conditions are auto-filled. You can also explicitly define specific device types. Action is something which is critical because you may want to define whether to perform a wipe of a device, block the mobile device itself completely or take no action. You may simply want alerts to come in the alert center so that you are informed. You can review the rule and finish creation of the rule. Let's also look at creation of a template, creation of a rule directly from scratch. I'm giving a test name. Define the scope. And you can observe that there are many more trigger points, which can be in the form of a policy sync event, device action event, application change, device compromise, any suspicious activities. When was the last device sync time? Depend, depending on that, you may want to take necessary action or a risk signal change. Let's take a look at an application change. That is, whenever an application is found suspicious or any malware is detected, you may want to take necessary action. So I choose an application state and define it as to installed on, started on, deleted on, or detected as potentially harmful. It's also necessary to define the device type before finishing the rule. So I get into device type. You want to define whether you want to apply it for all devices or just for Android or iOS. And you click on continue, select the actions review your rule and finish creating the rule. You could also get complete information about automated rules directly from the Workspace Admin Help Center. The complete information about templates as well as different trigger points are explained in detail. Happy creating rules! <laughs>